Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eleven, chapter fourteen. Chapter fourteen is about oscillations. So in this system, we can see this is a spring connected with a stick, right? And this stick does oscillation up and down, and ask you to find frequency. They're very important. They give you the hint to tell you to write a talk equation about the hint there. So how can we do that? First time we consider because this part, this uh, spring connected with the stick, it holds the stick, so there must be extension on the distance. Do you agree? This extension we call it y naught, right? So in this one we can see at the initial the mg. So we can write the torque for this one. Initial it is static balanced. So this is the uh, uh, rot rotation axis, this is uh, gravity from this stick moving down, right? And this is a force by the spring, agree? And then we can say we can write the torque around this uh, point. First one is mg, half of the L, half of the L of half of the length, so L the over 2. And then minus the fx, this uh, force by the spring times L, right? Then equal to zero because it is uh, static balanced, this one. And also we know the tension on the spring equal to K Y naught, agree? K Y naught. In this way, we can find the function for Y naught. You can see Y naught first equal to the tension over the K, and this uh, Fs just uh, equals half of the mg. In this one, we find the initial tension for y naught. Next one, we know this uh, stick do oscillations. Do oscillations, so that means it is has motion. So we consider the i times alpha. Alpha is uh, angular acceleration, right? So net torque equal to i times alpha. Similarly, the torque is uh, net torque still the mg l over two minus the tension times l equal to i times alpha. This alpha is angular acceleration. This i is the momentum of erasure for this stick. Now we can say it does the acceleration and we consider this motion is y. So now the total extension for the spring is uh, y plus y naught, right? So the tension from the spring is use this uh, constant k times the tension, y plus y naught. And i momentum of erasure for the stick is this one. Alpha, we can say it's angular acceleration. Very easily, we can say it's second term the d theta, dt, and second term. Agreed? Yes. And now, next question is about the y. How can we get the y? Easy. We can see, we can see this is a circle. This y is this distance. We can consider it as arc. And this length is l. L and this angle is theta, so L theta just equal to y, right? Now we input all the known quantities in this uh, uh, function. We can say mg half of L, no changes, k. So fs, fs equal to k times y plus y naught. And the y naught we input it inside. So now we write it in this way times L. I is uh, one third ml squared alpha. You write it in this. Uh, derivation uh, functions. Now we can make it uh, simple. How can we do that? We can say this term can cancel with this term because it can say k over k, it become one half mgl canceled, right? So we can, and uh, this side l squared, l times l, l squared, this is l squared canceled. So now we find the equation look like this one. This is the equation about theta. We can write it in this way. The next question we know this is a simple harmonic oscillation. Can you find the angular angular velocity? Sure, angular velocity just uh, this term squared, right? So omega squared equal to three k over m, and then we find the frequency is the angular velocity over two pi. So omega over two pi, we get find the answer there. Thank you.